I mean, Kasich for me is the worst of them all. And I'll tell you why. I mean, during the DNC convention, um, if you remember, they gave him a platform. Yeah. They literally put him on a main platform. And what was crazy to me was they, if you watch the DNC, you would not think that we had an Ilhan Omar or a Rashida. There was actually a, an ode to women. I don't know if you saw that. It was like a segment about women in the DNC. And it was funny because they had just disavowed and they said, oh, we don't, we disavow Linda's views, which of course specifically were about my views on Palestine and the boycott right. investment sanctions movement, which is basically disavowing 99.8% of the people in my community, which is right. put that to the side. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then they did this ode to women and it started with me. I was in the video, like you're doing an ode to women because it was, it started with the women's march and I'm in the footage of it. So like you see me in wow. the footage, but then they start showing clips of like when, you know, women were winning office around the country and that kind of surprised like, oh my God, I won. And it was so inspiring. And they were going from women to women to women. And all of a sudden at the end, I'm like, well, what about that Somali black Muslim woman from Minnesota? Or what about the Palestinian Muslim one from right. Michigan, from two important states that mm -hmm. you all need to win in this election? And so the 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 fact that they erased Ilhan and Rashida from the, the the convention, what they did to me, the fact that they won Michigan and Minnesota is because of the very women that you try mm -hmm. to marginalize in the camp in in the in in the in the campaign. But then you would give platform to Kasich to your point, who is anti women, anti immigrant. I mean, some of the worst things that I could think of have been done at the hands of this man in his state and. He didn't even win the state for you. Like on top of that, right? Right. It's not even justifiable from a strategic, like forget the morality of it. It's not even strategically justifiable. Yeah, it's not, it was not strategic at all. Like well, I, I mean, I, when I went to speak at the DNC convention, I was invited by the Muslim delegation for the DNC. Like to be clear, folks, I'm a delegate to the DNC. Like it wasn't like a random situation. I'm a DNC delegate. I ran in my district and I won just like everybody else was fair. Nobody paid me to be a delegate. I didn't pay nobody. I didn't mm -hmm. bribe anybody. I won because people in my district voted for me. And so when I went to speak, I didn't even want to speak because I was worried that people would say I was selling out. Why was I going to the DNC? But I said, you know what? They need a voice like mine. So when I got invited, I went. And so my thing is like, you actually strategically need voices like ours because we are the ones that bring credibility to the table. Because if you right. want to try to bring the party together, it's not they that bring the party together. We bring the party right. together. And even, even Bernie, to be quite honest with you, people were so hurt by him kind of conceding or kind of, you know, whatever the word is, um, leaving the race early. Yeah. But there were a lot of people mad at Bernie too. So we had to step in for Uncle Bernie, like, all right. Mm -hmm. The amounts of times I defended Bernie over him leaving the the, the race and being like, don't worry, we got a strategy. There's, you know, he's playing checkers or whatever. He's playing chess. And yeah, and it's just the, the strategy behind it. And then Kasich is running. And then after he loses Ohio for us, He's still on television running his mouth. Uh, yeah. It's not even a pre thing. It's a post yeah. for a loser. Literally. Yeah. yeah. He should be labeled loser Kasich. Yeah. Loser of Ohio has some Literally, opinions about how to win. Like, come on. Yeah. So they can't yeah. even, I mean, this is all because they actually want, this is, you know, it goes back to the Thomas Frank listen liberal thesis, which is that the Dems just want, a lot of them just want the bad stuff and they pretend yeah, that they, they're being forced like, into it, which is why I do want us to win the Senate because if only, and then all these people are like, you neoliberal shill, blah, blah, blah. You, I'm sure you get this too, Linda, but it's like, I don't, I want the Dems to win the Senate because at the very least, it'll expose them when they're not moving left. They're not going to be able to say it's because of like obstruction. Yeah. Um, now we're just trapped in this hellish thing where we're going to ping pong back and forth. It seems yeah. like every four years, <laughs> it really is feel like it feels like we might get a lot more single terms if this yeah. is kind of like the way things are going to ping pong uh, and with the way obstruction is, is working in D.C.